Hello, hello. Good evening, Madeline. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you, you are smiling always. How oh, very good. <laughs> I'm always smiling. I ha you have to smile. We teacher, have... always happy is good for the students. Yes, that's true. Yes. Always positive. Always positive. positive. Yeah. What, ab what about you? How how do you manage? How do you manage your classes? Um, um my opinion. No, you... no, no. How do you manage to have always a positive attitude in the classroom? Good evening. Um, Good evening, I'm Alicia. Glad. I'm glad always. You're always glad. You're always happy. Yes. And Even... yesterday I was I wasn't happy. Why? But right now, yes. Okay, but <laughs> let's say that yesterday you were the teacher and you had to teach, so. You had this situation, you were upset and everything. And let's say you had a class. Will you will you be upset in the classroom? No. Okay, so what what will you do to avoid being upset in the class? Uh, yes, I understand. In class is different. Uh, uh, the student always uh, is very important to stay uh, positive. To be positive. And positive, and and stay with uh, uh, with other mind. Uh, no, no include the no. others uh, other things in the class other things in the class like uh, uh, start talking about your personal life or feelings right so let me give you an advice from teacher to teacher yes both of you uh just mm -hmm. if you are grumpy if you're upset mm -hmm. if you're sad you know if you're negative mm -hmm. if you're negative mm -hmm. before the class yes. one minute one minute before the class just before jumping into the class, let's yeah. say, I don't know if you set up your classroom before the class, you know, yeah. I I have to install the projector, uh, make sure that yeah. this, there is sound, that uh, the, the whiteboard is clean, okay? Mm -hmm. There's yes. the objective, the objective in the class, in the whiteboard. But if I feel that I'm grumpy or I'm not in the mood, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to teach, or I sad step or, or sad or whatever. I never get yeah, sad. But, uh, yeah, depressive no, too. negative, negative. If you're like, oh, man, another, again, these students, right? Now, yeah. I step outside the classroom. I go outside for 10 seconds. So I close my eyes okay. and I go like, I'm the best teacher uh, in the world. I'm the best breath. teacher in the world. I'm the best teacher in the world. <laughs> the best yes. And I, I convince. Yes. <laughs> You are right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for your advice. Thank you for your. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's <laughs> our job. Advise me. Our job yeah. is difficult. I mean, you have to become a psychologist yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I think I think I sent you a video last last class, right? Enseñar desde el cerebro del que aprende. You remember? No. Yes. Didn't I? No. I didn't send it to you. Um, no. It's ah. just Google it, Google it, go, go okay. to YouTube, go to YouTube and watch a conference. It's like seven what minutes. What is the name, please? Um, enseñar, no, ah, enseñar, enseñar desde el cerebro del que aprende. Okay. Es un ponente español, profesor español de, ah, creo que tiene 22 años him. de carrera. Yeah. You saw it? Yes, saw it? I saw it. So he talks about kids. I think you're teaching kids, so. You're gonna laugh. Okay. Se van a reír de verdad, o sea, pero es la realidad. You have to make the right yeah. questions to yourself. ¿Por qué dice lo que dice? ¿Por qué hace lo que hace? Right? En lugar de decir, okay. deje de hacer eso, ¿qué dice lo que está diciendo? Right? So, the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that, that has helped me a lot. So, okay, always thank you. Thank be... you for advice me. For your advice. Yes. Thank you for your thank advice. Thank you for thank your you. advice. Uh, yes, that works. 
change. You have to become someone else, right? <laughs> For the class. Someone else. Okay. okay, let's start the class today. We're going to learn about. No, 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 not that way. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> no. What happened? Okay. Hello, Alicia. Yes, laugh. Hello, Madeline. You have to laugh all the time. That's true. Yes, it's true. Remember Robin Williams? Yeah. Yes. Rest in peace. Yeah. I'm on vacation. I'm in vacation. You're on vacation? Uh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Finish. Uh, Finish. That's, that's amazing. No. No, because what? this this month the the college is, is will not be paid. Will not pay. Really? Yes. What are the plans? Okay. That's negative. That's negative. Uh, the planning, oh the planning my God, for the no. next year. Do you have to prepare the planning what? for the yeah. next year? A vacation, yeah. but I don't, I don't like the, it. The, the month? The, the whole month? month. Yeah. yeah the you, whole you go month. planning by month? Yes. Okay. No, for the year. I I I will planning for the year. My, I my will last. plan. You will plan? I will plan. For the whole year. For a whole year. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's I'm too much. Okay. I am not in vacation. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry, Alicia. Alicia, is that the whole planning each class? Uh, yeah, but or just uh, the topics? No, it's it's for the entire, but uh, in general plan. Right. right? Okay. The general right. plan. The uh, general, general plan. plan. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Oh, oh my no, God. my God. No, no, no. And how do you prepare the classes every day? I mean, do you do it in a daily basis? I I plan I planned um, each two months in the semester. Every every semester. two months. Every, every two months. Every two yes. months, my classes, and then uh, I will no I I I uh, simple present. I teach, or I I. No teach it's it's science lab it's a practice. Oh, you yeah. but you have to prepare the class, yeah, right? Yeah, I have. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Bien, voy a hacer una pausa un segundo porque ayer me pasó algo. Creo que fue en la otra clase de nueve diez. Eh, un estudiante estaba viendo televisión mientras hablábamos, mientras veíamos la clase. No. Este. So, si, estén, si tienen un, un ambiente un poco ruidoso, como decíamos en la primera clase, traten de silenciar su, su micrófono okay. y solamente si van a participar, eh, okay. encienden el micrófono, ¿ok? Sí, igual, sé que tal vez, sí si les pido que enciendan la cámara, eh, espero que nadie pase por ahí, ¿verdad? En, en, en paños menores, lo que sea, como dicen, que se ha vuelto, se ha vuelto una costumbre yes, en TikTok. Yes. Okay, yeah. so let's try to be professional in that sense, okay? Okay. Then you can laugh all you want, okay? Good, guys. So today, first of all, what was yesterday's topic? Uh, Jerums. Jerums. Yes, we... Like examples, examples. We Give me examples. Jerums. Studying? Mm. Studying. Smiling. Okay. And smiling. Do it. Vadi, good evening. Smiling is. Uh, good evening. Where? Hello, teacher. Hi, Fadi. Give me an yes, example. The uh, gerunds. Yeah, gerunds as nouns. As, as mm -hmm. I'm sorry, as subjects and as objects, we said, right? Okay. Eating. Eating? Uh, it's a bear with ing. Really? Right. Then you got it. Okay. Eating. Um, uh, some. Let me show you something before we. Using the verb to be. Using the verb to be. Yes. You can use the verb to be. to be or any other verb. Just remember that you have to do it with. It's helping verb for, for germs. Third person, remember? Singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just share this with you. Okay. So go ahead, buddy. You said eating, right? Yes. Okay, Vadi was saying eating. I will make this bigger. Yeah. Eating. So I can ask you what's there. Oh, God. What's there? Pay attention, guys. What's there to say 
about eating. Okay, eating. I'm gonna make this bigger. One second. Everything actually. It's in general. Eating in general. Eating. Mm. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So talking in general. Okay, good. So what's there to say about eating? Buddy, what's eating. there to say I, about? I am not eating um, a steak. Okay, but I we are like not. Chicken. Remember, remember, this yeah. is our subject. Subject. That's our subject, gerund Sub as subject. Eating is good for the health. Eating is good for your for health. health. Yes. Eating is good um, for your health. Using okay. for... Uh, In this case, this is our subject. It's our Daddy. subject. It's always with A ing. Okay. Mm -hmm. ing, yes. That ing. is correct. Correct. Okay. Good, buddy. So eating is good for your health. Did you get this question? What's there to say about? Okay. What's there to say about traveling? Traveling is, is very is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Okay. Traveling. I, okay. Is very interesting. Interesting. I I speak more. I speak very good. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you sent sent me the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Pronounce pronunciation. Speaking is a foreign language. Okay, speaking in a foreign language. Speaking in a foreign language, foreign foreign language, foreign language. Now all of this is my subject speaking in a foreign language wow that's a subject is uh, important one two three four five words is a subject that's a subject mm -hmm. i'm saying that okay so why look at this pay attention to the to the screen speaking in a foreign language okay it is important it is all this you got it Yes, that's, that's the idea. Before, yes. before the bird to be. Right. All of that is your subject. All that subject can be replaced with it. Why? It's, it's. Why? Because this is a whole idea. Okay, I could say that idea. That idea is important. That Speaking. idea is important because uh, uh, because persons speaking different languages in the world languages languages yeah languages in the in the world in the world that's right that is totally right yeah. okay good you got it good so that's the idea but, that's our subject. chinese no <laughs> only chinese no okay now if i tell you i love speaking in a foreign language where yes. is where is my sub where is my subject here i, I speak in a foreign language yeah mm -hmm. is uh, is I. I, I that is correct i will be the subject and so speaking what is speaking then what is the, speaking uh, speaking the verb is the verb. It's not. is the verb mm, it's the no, Isn't this the subject? Subject. Subject to object, object. Madeline. Good. Object. Is the object, object or subject? Object. 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 Yes. Is what is object. the difference in a subject and object? Good. The doer of the action. Okay. 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 And who receives the action? Ah, okay. Simple. Ah, uh, yes. Object, you receive the action and and subject is the action. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a noun. It's a noun. Yeah, here is a noun. Uh, in both cases, actually, here is a noun, and here is a noun receiving the action. I love. What do I love? Love is the verb. Love, love is, is the, the verb. verb. Love is the that, verb. That's the action. Okay, the action. I love. What do I love? 
speaking in a foreign speaking language. Speaking a foreign language. Yes. Okay. This is the object. This is the, that, that's the, the object. object. That's right. Okay. Uh, but eating, I'm sorry, uh, traveling. Okay. Uh -huh. Traveling and eating is an, a subject. subject. A subject. Our what, subjects are subjects. What there is to say about that. So keep in mind this question. Mind this question. What's there to say about? Hey, what's there to say about weather? Um, the a weather lot. Is raining. Probably. What's there to say about the weather? The weather, the weather is in the world raining. right now. Right now, it's yeah. Raining. It's raining. It's cold. It's raining. It's raining. Uh, it's cold. It's raining. It's <laughs> Color, wind, windy, 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 it's windy. 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 Okay. windy. Very good. Eating vegetables is good for your health. Yeah. Eating vegetable is the the no the subject, Violet, Violeta. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be the, the subject. That is correct. That subject. Eating vegetables is the subject. Okay, what will be the object? Let me put the example. Violeta, can you turn on your microphone? Okay. Okay. So yes, here you have the subject based on the position of the um, gerund. That's Only eating vegetable is the subject. Yeah, because or, it's before, it's before the action. Eating. I mean, just eating, we're focusing on using gerunds to begin a sentence. But okay. if, if you were, if you were to say that you have to replace this in subject, verb, complement, remember, present simple? Eating vegetables. Will be the subject, and again, it is good. Like eating green, eating green vegetables? Eating green vegetables, yeah. It, it is good. It is good for your health. Yeah. That is good for your health. So this, that is, good. this is your subject, eating vegetables. Okay. Now, if you want one more example, um, same thing that I did before. Um, I hate eating vegetables, okay? I hate eating vegetables, uh, it's, just, it's an object. It's object, no, it, no, it's a, it's object. It's an object. The bird hate? Yes, it's an object. It is an object, I hate. Object, object. Here, here eating is an object receiving the hate. <laughs> Yes, okay. hate eating vegetables through. Hate eating vegetables, duh, it's good for your health. Or you can say although, remember? Although it's good for your health. Okay. Also, Subject, also object. Still, any questions with that topic? Yes, I understand. Oh. Okay. Perfect. So let's yeah. practice. Let's practice that. Okay. Always. A teacher. teacher. I have a question. Um, for a is is uh, G after N or N after G? No. It's okay. The the word for a. This is the right spelling. I will right? say. For a. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Mm -hmm. sure. Remember. What What does it mean? Also. Also, a pesar de. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, connectors, okay. connectors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 A pesar de, yeah. Okay. Connectors. Okay. Um. Okay. Foreigner. Remember, Madeline. Foreigner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The, the music. What was that? Okay, good. Let's move on. A pesar de, um, I'm sorry, that is my say for a pesar de, verdad? Although. Although, yeah, although. Look, also. Although, although. 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 
Also. 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 Ah, yeah, also sí. Y van a escuchar eso mucho de los americanos. Do. Also. Do. Okay. Try to listen to CNN a lot. At this point, watch CNN. Uh, for example, the voting, uh, the elections right now. It's going crazy. It was really tight. Okay. So let's move on. Um, keep practicing that part, okay? Today's topic has to do with making comparisons, comparisons, check, yeah. Comparisons with verbs and past participles. Comparisons. Yesterday, we also talked about comparisons with adjectives and nouns, remember? Yes, yes. more than. More than what? More than words? More than is a comparison. Hi, everyone. Yeah, how? Um, bigger than is other comparison. That's another comparison, but yesterday we were talking about adjectives. Working as a lawyer, remember, is more stressful, more stressful. than working as a mechanic. Okay. Now, Jose was using yesterday long adjectives. That's why you see more or less or as, remember? So just to quickly refresh, recall that information. When you say that something is more, right? You say something is less, or you say that something is better, okay? You say something, something is worse, okay? And you say that something is as good or equal, equal. equity, 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 equity. comparison. And not as good as, then you're saying that something is not as good, hold on, not as good as this. Okay? Not as good? I can say I am not as smart as Alicia. I am not as smart as Alicia. You see? I'm saying that I am not as smart as Alicia. I could say that I am as smart as Alicia. Um, Alicia is a better teacher than me. I am a worse teacher than Alicia. <laughs> and both so on. And both so are on. good teacher. Both are good. As, are good yes, you are a good teacher. Excellent. Both teacher. are good teachers. Okay, good. That's both. another way. That's another way of comparing. Both are yeah. good teachers. Perfect. Yeah. So keep in mind that. Okay, you can be are a, smart. You can be using different things, but sometimes you say that something is more, less. It's always a um, comparing part. Do you have any questions um, regarding that topic? Uh, we have to use the the gerund at the beginning. Good always? question. In no, this case, it was just for the example. If you heard what I said, I am okay. I am more. Uh, no, I, I'm taller. Be careful. I'm taller than my brother. I'm not using um, a gerund. I am taller. Um, hmm. then, Only to make the comparison. Yes, it's but just in this case in because this case, we uh -huh. were talking about the the gerund? the verb as an as gerunds as uh -huh. a subject, subject and object and object perfect yes in that case we were using um gerunds okay. as subjects and objects so we were putting everything in context that's right perfect okay and uh, how do you pronounce syllable syllables syllables is a thing and when you are comparing, you when are comparing. Yeah, you are comparing, and you need write two syllables. Do you need to write? Can you, you see? Write, can you, you see the screen? Dan, Dan, and you add the the letter R and the letter E oh. E R. Okay. Yes. When you compare two things, you need to. Do you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how to modify the adjectives, Madeline? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, give me only, adjectives. Give me adjectives. Yes. yes. But only uh, the the word 
has uh, two syllables because the 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 word has three syllables is is uh, is necessary to to write more mm -hmm. that's right no. perfect so very simple one syllable yes, taller 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 one syllable yeah one, one syllable one a syllable pretty, you pretty. are er yes a smaller it's for here two syllables and in y and in Y with a consonant before the Y. Y. You remove the Y. I, e, I, no, I, and we use the letter R, I, I, E, R. And add E, R. Yeah. I, E, R. Prettier. You're prettier, prettier, prettier. prettier. But okay. wonderful is no, it's other, it's other in uh, the grammar. Yes, if, as you said, for two or more, Syllables. Syllables. Not yeah. ending in Y, not ending in Y, two syllables, not ending in Y or more. You need the word more before. More. More stressful. stressful. And always you need then. to use yes. then. What's the meaning of then? Then, okay. Mm -hmm. then. That's right. Then. then. And, the then. and the same thing happens with um, with superlatives, right? That you may have already seen that, right? Ah, it's the best, the best. Mm -hmm. Tallest? Tallest. Tallest. Okay, S what about S small? S yeah, you say the smallest. 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 Prettiest. Mm -hmm. Prettiest. And the prettiest. Prettiest. Right. You got it, guys, you got it, that's right. Um, now you're not comparing here, so you need to add the article V, V or the, yeah. the, okay. Without, without done, without done. Mm -hmm. And oh. for stressful. Okay, thank you. The most stressful. The most stressful. Mm -hmm. so, so the superlative will be the most. Yes, instead of in more. In that case. Now, comparison, more than. Superlative. More superlative. More than the most. The most. The most wonderful then. evening, the most stressful person I have ever met. Teacher, I hear you. Then, no, then, and then, then, it's, then is okay. Yeah, both have the same sound, Madeline. Then, and then, then, then. Ah, then. Uh, yes, then is entonces. Then is que. Then, then. Excellent. Then. Yes, only in this context. That's right. It's the same sound. Okay, that was a quick reminder. Don't forget that. Okay, don't forget that. So let's move on. Let's continue. Um, yes. So if this is clear, let's turn the page. Let's go with comparisons with verbs and past participles. Okay. You know, I will show you a list that I prepared. I'll show you a list that I prepared before the class really quick. Okay, Jose is muted. Give me one second. The job of a doctor and... Oh, come on, really? And to do that, you can say the following. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following. A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, 
earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns, so we're going to put uh, we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more. Okay. Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases is um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer. You can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see, right? Um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer. We're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, a doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right, so we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse. And uh, okay, so here's the example. I was expecting. I was waiting for. Jose, to, to get to the example, uh, which is the only one that we will see on the video, a doctor is better paid. So where is the past participle there? It's paid. Paid, paid right? It's paid. better paid than a nurse. Okay. Let's do our own examples. I think you're, you're better um, given your own examples. So help me out here. Let's work together on this. And let me show you what I have first. Uh, there is a little small table that I prepared here. Sorry, it's very big because I knew you won't be able to see. So we have the verb and it's, uh, and now I want to point out that not all of the, um, not all of the verbs can be used as adjectives, okay? Not all of the verbs can be used as adjectives. Are you following me? Yes. So be yeah. careful. For example, um, you can only use the verbs that have to do with feelings, with emotions. For example, astonish, okay? Astonish, astonishing, astonished. 
What is that verb meaning? I don't remember, teacher. Astonished. You don't ah, remember? Okay. I was astonished. Exactly. Okay. Asombrado. Now listen. I was as astonished mm. as you yesterday. Let me spell okay. it. Let me spell it. Did I misspell it? Let's see. Astonished. Yes. Astonished. I was astonished. Don't make a pause. I was astonished as you yesterday. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> okay. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Uh, for example, tonight, many Americans will be, tomorrow, they will be talking about tonight, right? When Joe Biden wins the election, I believe he's going to win um, based on the um, statistics. So tomorrow, many Americans will be like, I was astonished as you, okay? What is there to say? What is there to say about challenged? So take a look at oh. how how the verb changes. You have challenge, okay, the base verb. Now with present participle or gerund form, you have challenging and then you have challenged, okay? I read, I... Okay, tomorrow many Americans will say that was a challenged Oh God, what's wrong with me? This lecture, I'm sorry. I was, a, that was a challenged election, right? Oh, E, okay, sorry. Uh-huh, that was a challenged election. Teacher, send that, please. Send it, the chart. Send us. I will, I will send it yes. to the chat at the end of the class. Okay, that was a challenged election, okay? Comfort, comforting, comforting, no, comforting. And then you have comforted, comforted. What is this? Comfortable, comfort. Mm -mm. Comfort. Comfort, comfort, right, okay. So can you give me an example with that? Um, no, my seat, my, um, uh, how do you say sillon in, in English? My sofa. My sofa was, no, it's comfort, uh, uh, comparison or only a sentence? Mm -hmm. Let's use compar comparison, it's yes. Table. My, my sofa is more comforted than yours. Hmm. Yeah. It's more comforting. It's more comforted comforting. than yours. Comfortable is it's okay. It's, mm -mm. No, it's no that that doesn't exist. Oh comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. <laughs> no. Oh what yes, did I be say? Careful. Be careful. Let's see. Comfortable. <laughs> oh look, reconfortante. Comfortable. 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 Ah, comfortable. No, comfortable. I know, comfortable. <laughs> com, 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 like that. Com, 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 there you go. Comfortable. You got it. There you go. Comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. Comfortable. It's, yeah, my sofa is more comfortable than you. That's better. That's right. That's better, right? Let's let's see. Yeah. My sofa is more comfortable than yours. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. My sofa is more comfortable than yours. Comfortable. 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 She's about to say comf comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, yeah, but that's yeah, the right yeah, pronunciation. Yeah. Good, Madeline. Oh my God, that was excellent. Comfortable. Yeah, thank you. My sofa <laughs> was okay. Uh, now you were saying uh, that we were saying comfort. Okay, my sofa is more comfortable. 
Comforted. Comforted. My ah, sofa is more yeah, comforted please. than yours. Comfort. Comfort. Uh, Comfort. This is another adjective. My sofa is no. more comforted than yours. Comfort. 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 Yeah, it's difficult. Okay. It's Let's difficult. move on. Yeah. You can see the screen, right? Okay. Comfort. So the yeah, grammar is fine. Let's go with the next one. Com compel. Com compel. What is compelled? Doesn't compelled. it sound compelled. when you put compelled. when you put a lot of inf excellent yes beautiful compelled. Spanish when you put a lot of information <laughs> together <laughs> that's okay don't worry when you put a lot of information together okay that's compel okay okay so okay so you can keep going with that so not all of the um, verbs can be used as adjectives. Got it? To use them as adjectives, is it is it you, you, you need to put them on um, ing with present participle or with past participle. Easy. Uh, well, let's go with the next one. Let's see. Compelled. Compelled. Okay. Um, somebody else who can give me another example? I have go in and <laughs> I know Violeta. Okay, let's go with Violeta. Violeta, can you give me an example with um, compelled? Compelled. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. I love doing this. Com compelled. Compelled. Oh, you know what? That means obligada or obligado. Compelled. 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 Okay. Compelled. Means obligada or obligado. Compelled. Obligado. No obligado is in Portuguese. Molto obligado. <laughs> Molto Molto obligado. obligado. <laughs> yes. Okay. So sorry. Okay. Okay. Hmm. No, give me another. <laughs> easy. That's easy. Come on, you can do it. That's too difficult. Compel. Yeah, you can use so, it. So, yeah. I think Trump is compelled to give Biden the winning. Okay, let's yeah. use the present con the present perfect. Why uh, Trump? Trump is being okay. Is being compelled now comparing to give the co compelling to has okay. been more, more compelling. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. More compelled. Yeah, compelled. Given to give Biden. Biden. Oh, Biden, Biden, uh, Biden, 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 I think is, it Biden. is. Trump has been more compelled to it's give Biden with Biden to give Biden the the challenge. No, no, the to give by uh, the triumph, the winning the triumph. I, I like that word, but I can't remember how to write it. Hold on, triumph. I, and that was yeah. T I think that was... T R. Uh -huh. T R T R I U M P H. Trump. 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 Mm. Yes, I think is. Mm. I always have this open just in case. Yes, you got it. Okay, yeah. the Trump. Okay. So <laughs> Trump has been more compelled. Okay. To give Vin and the Trump. Then the Trump. Then. We haven't been. You haven't done the comparison yet. Then former presidents. Okay. Then. Look at that. Then last election. Then former. Then former candidates, not presidents. Then former, then former candidates. Okay. Trump has been okay. more compelled okay. to give Biden the Trump. Than former okay. candidates. Then former so. Then former. Candidates. Candidates. Mm -hmm. 
has been has been compelled. Okay. You see, you were able to do it. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do, do that. Check check the class, <laughs> Daniela. But I did. Biden won them. But I did it. I think he's gonna win. I, I there it's I, not I clear. Hear, it's hear. not clear yet. Yeah, but the um statistics are aiming to Biden. Uh, did you get the word former? Remember? Former? Yeah, it's, previous. It's no. a Nevada to win. Previous. Is up previous. to Nevada? Is up to, is it up to Nevada? It's up, it's up to Nevada to win, yes. Oh, because, really? Because uh, mm -hmm. he, need, he needs six votes. Biden needs six votes? Nevada has six, yes. Wow. Because I saw it, I saw it in, CNN? in Google, but oh. I don't know oh. it's true. I don't know if it is true. I don't know if it is true. Okay, a romantic movie is more touched Ah, oh, there. Very good, Daniela. A romantic movie is more touching than a horror movie. Touching. It's more touching. More, more touched. touched. More touched. It's touched. Touch. touch. Is it here? Do I have touch here? Excited and sorry. No, it's not here. Let me let me show you why. Let's see. Um, una película romántica es más conmovedora. Still, still, okay. Conmovedora, touched, it's more touching. Mm. Same thing, touching, touched. Ah, it's the same, it, ah, this is my question. This is the, you can use the ENG and- ING? And the past, ING and past participle? Yes. Oh, okay. Sometimes, not all of the Sometimes. time. Okay. What I will recommend you is to listen to yourself. In Daniela's example, a romantic movie is more touching than a horror movie sounds better than is more touched oh. than a horror movie. Mm -hmm. Now, why? Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, that's the way. Grammarly is, is okay. What about depressed? Depressed. Um, Daniela already gave an example, Veronica. Let's use everything that we have learned. Working as a cashier. Veronica? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, the present. Has a cashier. Uh, the present. The people uh, is expressed uh, more than, uh, is more, uh, the people is expressed more than now I receive. Okay, let's know. let's be let's be very very specific. Okay, people, uh, let's be more specific. Uh, this people is more depressed when all all people are together with the Beatles. Beatles. <laughs> with the Beatles, the Beatles passing. Uh, wait to see British horror movie. In my case, <laughs> the movie is more depressed than the book. Maybe, maybe uh, one is more present, the person than Pedro. Yes. Now let's clear this out. Juan is more depressed than Pedro. Now. If I use depressed, I'm adding that um, I'm saying that quality, I'm adding that quality to the subject. In this example, Juan is more depressed than Pedro, okay? Juan es más o está más deprimido que Pedro. Él está más deprimido, okay? En cambio, si yo digo, ojo con esto, Juan is more depressing than Pedro. Estoy diciendo Juan es más depresivo que Pedro. Es decir, Juan aburre. Juan te deprime en dos patadas. ¿Ya? 
Yeah. Okay, that's his quality to make people quality. to make people get depressed. Always depressing. Always. Okay, and again, depressed. one makes others depressed. In this example, one is more yes. depressed than Pedro. Okay, but if I say one is more depressed than Pedro, then one is depressed. In a moment. In a moment, in a moment. one moment. is depressed in that moment. You got in it. In a moment, no, always. You got it. This is the difference. That's the difference yeah. between That's ing difference. and ed. Okay. Yes. So, de nuevo, ing, o sea, el gerundio, mm -hmm. eh, afecta a terceros, digamos, mm -hmm. y el pasado participio afecta directamente al sujeto de la acción, el que hace la acción. Mm -hmm. okay. Esa es la gran diferencia. Ok. Yeah. Thank you. Can you repeat <laughs> again? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> So, uh -huh. siguiendo el ejemplo que nos daba el compañero, eh, Juan is more depressed than Pedro. Estaría diciendo Juan está más deprimido porque uh -huh. depressed, depressed es deprimido. Depressed. Yes, uh -huh. depressed. Okay, Juan está más deprimido que Pedro. Yeah, okay, yeah, en cambio yeah. si ocupo el ING, okay, Juan is more depressed than Pedro, diría. Juan es más deprimente. Yes. Juan es más deprimente sí. que yeah. Pedro. Mm -hmm. Ok. For, uh, yeah. O sea que Juan you es say, una persona deprimente. You say something about third person in, in that I, can uh, you repeat that? This, this part, the verb. That part. Yeah. Let's put it into context with um, an ING, uh, a gerund subject, Daniela. Uh, give me any, let, challenge me, give me any gerund object, gerund subject, I'm sorry, a, a verb in ING. Disappointing. Uh, disappointing? That's an adjective. Give me a verb. Um, think. Think. Okay, so you say thinking. Okay, Think. thinking. Mm -hmm. Think, thinking, thinking of, thinking of you, thinking of you. Okay, thinking, thinking of, is of, more devastating. Then, God, thinking is more devastating than smoking for your brain. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Thinking is more devastating than smoking, or let's say less. No. Less, less, no. less. Okay, thinking is less devastating than ah, yes. smoking for your brain. Yes. There you go. Okay. That yes. sounds positive. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, it's not true. It's not true. It is true. Okay. It is true. true. It is true. So thinking, and then I use is because it's third person. Okay. Hmm. Let me change this. Thinking works better. Okay. Than smoking for your brain. Thinking works. And this is your question, Nina. If the verb that I will add after the subject, after, I'm sorry, after the gerund subject, um, I will have to use it as a third person. That's your question, Daniela, right? Si voy a ocupar un verbo después del gerundio como sujeto, lo voy a considerar como tercera persona. Works. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Por qué ocurre esto? Porque el gerundio como sujeto se reemplaza con it. Esto lo veíamos yes. ahorita, lo veíamos al inicio de la clase. Chequea este video al inicio de la clase, Daniela. So, it works better than smoking for your brain. Todavía tiene sentido. ¿Ya? Can I speak in Spanish? Please. For my, for my question. Mi, Sí. Mi punto es siempre, no, miren chicos, no tengan pena. Si tienen una duda existencial, lo que sea, díganmelo. Ok, go ahead. Tell me, Dani. Eh, sobre lo que dijo de, de que la diferencia entre el 
presente participio y el past participle. Que el presente... Ah, ok, ok. No escuché esa parte, que el presente parece que afectaba a la tercera persona, o no escuché si era el post participle, pero esa parte, de cuál es la diferencia. Uh -huh. Entre el gerundio, el teacher... Okay. So, if Pedro depresses me, si Pedro me deprime, Pedro Depress is a me. depressing person. Depress me. Therefore, <laughs> Pedro gets Depress. depressed. Pedro, Pedro, okay. Vale. Pedro me deprime. Ok. Entonces, Pedro es una persona depresiva. Es decir, te Por deprime. Eso. Te deprime a ti si estás con él. Pedro te afecta. Ok. Por eso, Pedro Perfecto. se deprime. Pedro Perfecto. se deprime. Sí, hoy sí, otra vez. Repito una vez más. Creo que este ejemplo está bien chivo. Es como un silogismo. <ríe> si Pedro me deprime, depresses me, ok. Entonces, Pedro es una persona depresiva. Afecta uh -huh. a su entorno. Por tanto, ok. Pedro se deprime. El mismo, gets depressed. Ahí ocupamos las tres formas. Ok. Creo que está bien claro, ¿verdad? Está más chivo así. Tiene más sentido, ¿ok? Check the video. I like, I like this topic. <ríe> Yo odiaba silogismos en la universidad. <ríe> no le hallaba eso. Pero y, 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 tu cerebro es increíble. Después se vuelve... Run a race. Creo que todavía Run no. A race. Watch the video. I will send you the link, ¿ok? I will send you the link in this video? chart. The, ah. the, the link to the video. Yeah, the link to the YouTube video. So you can watch it again. Ok. Daniela. Can you use excite, exciting, or excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Everybody, let's help Daniela. Okay, let's do something use more. the same example. As no, Pedro. no, let's do something more interesting, okay? Go to the chat. Go to the chat here in Zoom. And give me your examples. So you have intimidate oh my god we're missing four minutes no uh okay easy interest interesting interesting. interested interested i hate this i'm sorry hold on let me try to correct this it's not gonna fit anyhow i'll send you the, the these examples so you can have them handy uh, that will be easier but here i had what we have started in short i know you will you will not be able to understand this little chart but you have comparisons with adjectives which is the common thing esto es lo común lo que usualmente ves comparisons with nouns también es algo común um yeah, Alicia. okay Science. then yeah. you have comparisons with the verbs okay cleans more than daniela cleans more than uh, Violeta or doesn't clean as much as less than and this is what we're studying comparisons with past participles okay is better paid than isn't as well educated as for example the teacher isn't as well educated as I don't know um, Violeta okay the teacher isn't as well educated as Violeta, el teacher no está tan bien educado como fulano, ¿ok? So, ahorita les voy a enviar estos dos, el cuadrito este y estos dos cuadritos para que puedan hacer sus ejemplos. Les invito, por favor, a que vayan a la plataforma y puedan hacer sus propios ejemplos en el foro de discusión bajo el video. Eh, es importante que completen sus ejercicios. Esta semana, este era el último tema de la unidad... The last de la sección, I'm sorry, uh, de section two. De la unidad dos. De la sección dos, sección dos. Ajá. This was the last video. 
mañana vamos con la sección 3. So, por favor, completen sus ejercicios. La sección 2 tiene uno, dos, tres ejercicios nada más. Ok. So, I'll send you this right now. Please study and do your exercises. Ok. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. I, 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 like your class. I, I like your love class my class. People. I love my class. I love you guys. Go, go by. Them. Have it. Have, okay. Bye, Alicia. Bye, my other classmates.